Hey, if you like stickers and cute art prints and cats, you should definitely check out my shop. Some of the stickers will not be restocked again, so grab your favorite before it's gone. I highly appreciate the support, thank you! Hi everyone! So I know it wasn't too long ago since I opened a scroller box, but lately I've been busy with vacation and store updates, so I haven't really had time to make other videos, and this one just showed up in my mailbox. So I thought, well, why not do another scrawler box unboxing? I don't know, to me it is just relaxing opening these boxes because I don't really have to decide the topic of the video. The boxes will do that for me. Enough talking, let's open this. Also, thank you so much Scrawlerbox for sending me these boxes. There will be a link in the description box below and you can use my code to get a discount. I don't know about you guys, but I think it sounds like paint markers. Ooh, a purple pen. A Pigma Micron 05, which I've learned is not 0.5, which I first thought. This one is actually 0.45 millimeters, so almost 0.5, but not really. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just bring all of this out. Everything is so colorful. If this doesn't scream summer, I don't know what does. Got some featured artwork from the previous challenges. Oh, 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 don't want to look too close. Don't want to spoil the art supplies, even though I can kind of see the art supplies already, but I love this one. This is the featured artwork. This is so fun and colorful. This is made by Renata from Melbourne, Australia. And this is where you can find their art. I said it before and I say it again. I love these little custom paper pads. They're so cute. This is Frisk Bristol Board Paper. I love Bristol Board. It is so smooth and nice. And we already looked at the Pigma Micron Pen. I'm not really that into these super bright colors, but it is something with the orange and pink, yellow, green. It just looks so tasty, delicious. We got the giant candy. Oh, these are some thick boys. And I was right, it was paint markers. These are the Pilot Pinter paint markers. These are all in size medium. I do have quite a few Pinter paint markers already, but I don't have any in these neon colors. I love the color scheme, but it isn't really a color scheme that I normally use, so um, this might be a little challenging for me. Also, let's check out the scrawler challenge which is electric dreams let's try out these pinter pens and that is a bright green a glowing yellow these are very much highlighter colors that red one it almost makes the other colors look a little dull the paper seemed to hold up pretty well it is a super smooth paper which in my experience is the best kind of paper to use with paint markers. Also, let's try out the Micron pen. Next to these super vibrant colors, it almost looks black. Also, let's see how pen draws on top of the paint markers. Seems to work just fine. Yeah, this will be good for line work. I don't know about you guys, but I think these pens will be perfect to draw some psychedelic mushrooms with. tell though that when layering these pens when they're still wet they are tearing the paper so i think you just need to be patient with this i don't know if the paper got a slightly of white tone to it like a grayish white or if it is just an illusion since the colors are so super bright and glowy so the paper almost looks gray let's add a little line art so yeah that's my little test let's get on with the with the art all right so this box was actually a little bit challenging for me not the art supplies themselves though but the colors neon colors are so far away from what i normally work with well, maybe not super, super far away, but there is a bit of a distance. It isn't the color scheme that I would pick myself, but that is what I like with these mystery art supply boxes. It have you thinking outside the box, the mystery box. Anyway, I was struggling with what I wanted to draw since I didn't feel 
very inspired at first but then I thought that the colors reminded me of summer and fruit and so I ended up with a bunch of lemons. Sometimes it is just as simple as that. And just for fun, let me know what you would have drawn with these colors. What would they inspire you to create? Comment down below. But yeah, I thought the colors were very fitting for these lemons and I did a bit of a stylized style, a little more angular than what I normally do. So painting with paint markers might be tricky since they usually eat their way through the paper if you're not careful enough and you will end up with a lot of these paper crumbs in the paint. I noticed that working with a light hand, a very light pressure will help a little. I'm barely touching the paper with a pen nib. Basically, I am trying to not scratch the paper too much. Not going over the same area too many times will also help. I think with a little bit of practice, you will find a good technique that works for you. So I mentioned before that I have worked quite a bit with the Pinter paint markers, I have a few of them already and I do really like them, but I don't know if the paint formula is a little different with these ones. I have noticed that neon colors tend to be a little different than regular colors, but I don't know, they just seemed less opaque than the other colors that I have. The green ones seemed more sheer, almost a little watery, and the orange and yellow I couldn't really layer them without the colors underneath showing through. The most opaque color was actually the red one, but it is also the darkest shade of them all. So maybe it is naturally more covering than the other ones, I don't know. It wasn't a huge problem though, I just had to plan out where to place the different colors to avoid layering them too much. But yeah, I don't really have that much to say about the art itself, it is lemons. I do really like how it came out though, and I think the colors with this style is really fun and vibrant, and I think the line work really brought it all together. I know I usually say that, but this time I think it was very important. The neon colors are almost a little too bright to look at when they are on their own, but the line art kind of tones it down a bit and makes it easier to actually see what it is I am looking at so yeah I am happy with it So I was struggling with coming up with one piece to draw and now I had to come up with yet another idea, but I knew I wanted to draw some colorful flowy hair and then I just built it from there. I did my usual sketching in Procreate and to be completely honest, my mind was all over the place with this one. It has kind of a futuristic vibe to it, but still a bit of fantasy with a hint of nature and superhero. I don't know but I still like it, even though I might like the sketch just a little better than the final outcome, but that is just how it is sometimes. And I know, no cats, trust me, it was my first idea, but the color scheme just drew me somewhere else. We need to let those cats rest a bit too. And I know I've been going on and on about how bright these colors are, but really, they are basically glowing. I'm not exaggerating when saying that they hurt my eyes by looking at them. In the bright studio lights that I have when filming, and the white of the paper, and the glowing panes, I could feel the eyes kind of stinging, like when you're out in bright sunlight, you know? It just made the art hard to look at at certain points. And I'm not complaining, not at all, I just thought it was a funny thing that paint in a specific color can have that effect on the eyes, especially the yellow was a very stingy color. So I think it was a good thing that I left the face of this lady white just to leave a spot for the eyes to rest, literally. And I also think it gives a nice contrast with the plain white and the neon colors. And again, adding the purple line art really helps to tie the art together. It makes it all a little easier to separate the different details from each other, and it becomes more pleasant to look at, interestingly enough. But it was a really fun box to work with. I kind of like it when there are not too many different kinds of art supplies. It makes it easier to try out a new medium when there are not too many other things that you need to focus on. And it is also so much fun to see what this 
these boxes forces you to draw when you have to go outside of your comfort zone. It is strange how these videos are comforting for me to make when they just keep pushing me outside of my comfort zone all the time, but I guess I like the mystery aspect of it. Thank you so much Scrawlerbox and thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and the art. Let me know which one of these that you liked the most. But yeah, that is all for today. I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!